Former U.S. Treasury Secretary Larry Summers withdrew his name from consideration for the next Federal Reserve Chairman Sunday. Summers, who is seen as the lead candidate to take over for current Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke, said in a statement to President Obama, I have reluctantly concluded that any confirmation process for me would be acrimonious and would not serve the interests of the Federal Reserve, the administration, or ultimately the interests of the nation's ongoing economic recovery. President Obama accepted Summers' withdrawal, saying the former Treasury Secretary was an integral part in helping guide the Obama administration after the Great Recession. Summers and current Federal Reserve Vice Chairwoman Janet Yellen were considered frontrunners to take Bernanke's place after he steps down in January, but Summers was thought to be President Obama's top pick. Despite the president's blessing, many Senate Democrats on the Banking Committee voiced their opposition to Summers heading the Federal Reserve, including John Tester of Montana, Sherrod Brown of Ohio, Elizabeth Warren of Massachusetts, and Jeff Merkley of Oregon. According to Politico, liberal Democrats' chief complaint with Summers has been the role he played in deregulating financial markets when he served as Treasury Secretary during the Clinton administration. National Journal writer Michael Hirsch says the case against Summers is based on his actions over the past 20 years, writing, As a government official, he helped author a series of ultimately disastrous or wrong-headed policies, from his big deregulatory moves as a Clinton administration apparatchik to his too tepid response to the Great Recession as Obama's chief economic advisor. Summers' withdrawn nomination leaves two other candidates to possibly head the Federal Reserve, Yellen and her predecessor, Donald Cohn. If Yellen is selected, she will be the first woman to lead the organization in its 100-year history. For Newsy, I'm Christian Bryant.